Today, I'm going to show you how to create magic with your very own hands. Be sure to wash them, you ninnies. I know where they've been. There will be no wand waving or small elves to help you. I'm going to teach you to manifest your abilities in the art of cooking. So a few nights ago, Trish, myself, and the wizard all came back here at night in order to film an episode without Doug. Um, and then we uploaded it to his own channel, which seems weird because how would Doug not find out about that? Unless that was the whole point. But you know, Doug hasn't been the wet turd of a normal selfie usually is, so maybe he won't even say anything this time. So, I see we had a little fun here the other night without me. Or maybe he is. I decided to get a little enthusiastic with what we're doing here. I'm kind of hurt that you didn't invite me. Like, why would you show up, shoot a show, and then post it without ever telling me? Wow, you guys must really be dedicated. Now you two, I can't do anything about. I don't pay you and I can't find anyone else to work as cheaply, but you, my friend, I have a special treat for you. Oh, I have something very special for you. We're gonna have a special guest for you to work with today. That's right. You're gonna have a special friend, someone I know you love spending time with, to be your little helper on the show today. You wouldn't dare. Todd, can you come in here? Hey guys! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here today. Hey, Rumi. Oh my God, when Doug said that I was gonna come here and help on the show today, oh my God, I got so excited, I might have peed a little bit. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Oh, I dare. I dare. And I want you to know that every fun minute is me having just as much fun as you are. Even more. Oh my God, this is gonna Don't be so her. much fun. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Quiet on the set. Action. I suppose it is time to open your minds and begin the lesson. <laughs> As we all know, the autumnal festival is a time to be spent with family. Oh, family. I love it. <laughs> and it isn't that a joy for everyone. Mm -hmm. As much a sheer delight we all know that family can bring, oh. it is also possible so nice. that you may not want to find yourself doing something else with your time other than watching your loved ones find ways to exert their emotional sadism on one another. And what would be a better way for you to get out of the house unnoticed than for all of them to fall into a deep, unbreakable slumber? I love an after-dinner nap. Please take one now. I know that there are some of you out there willing to dabble in the art of sleeping potions, and this is the closest you will get to being able to do that while still being incompetent in most other areas of your <gasps> life. How do you feel about being here? to do this with the professor. Oh gosh, I'm really excited. You know, sometimes I wonder about the professor, but I kind of feel like today might be the day, the day that he turns around and really enjoys life, like I do. <laughs> is it true you brought him back to life? Oh, yes, it is true. It is true. And yes, 
Yes, I did. It's alive! I call this dish the Great Golden Slumber, or as the non non magical would call it, potatoes all grotten, fully l loaded. That sounds delicious. Just <laughs> because it is. This dish is so creamy, so rich, so enticing that they will come back for seconds and thirds, sealing their fate. And then, when their gluttonous appetite's filled, you may make your escape as, oh god, I wish I could at this moment. I've done it once or twice myself. Do you cook? Oh, do I cook? <laughs> I cook just about anything. I wasn't always that way, but thanks to lots of practice with my mother and grandmother in the kitchen, I can cook just about anything. Sometimes it takes the smallest little thing, like the time I was having a hard time with creme brulee, and all it took was a blowtorch, and next thing you know, everything was nice and crispy. <laughs> the difficulty rating for this dish is goldfish. Goldfish? <laughs> yes. For it has uh, the use of blades and blade-like objects. What embarrassing question have you been asked by your family at Thanksgiving? Like every Thanksgiving, when I come home to Nebraska and back at my family's funeral home, when my dad asks, so, Trish, when are you going to join the family business? And I go, never. I'm going to be honest and say the prep time will vary depending on your skill level equipment. And never underestimate the importance of taking time to prep properly. I, I was going to say that. <laughs> I will say between 30 and 45 minutes to cook. The time will be 1 hour and 15 minutes with variables in mind. It will take you somewhere near, God help me, 2 hours to prepare. Hours. That's so much great time with your friends and family and your friends that are family. <laughs> Don't touch them. Oh, it's going to be great. Do you get to sit at the grown-ups table? I mean, yeah. Have you seen the size of me? <laughs> what do you think about Todd? Todd? I mean, I've known Todd for a long time. He's harmless. It's a little annoying. It's kind of like a rash. Just ignore it and it eventually goes away. With that said, you will need the following ingredients. R really? Yeah, it's, 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 it's right there. I can see it. It's, I just can't believe it. Just do it. Tell them. Remember, mise on play and have all of your ingredients ready before you start cooking. Makes things so much easier. To begin with, preheat the oven to 400 degrees and cook your bacon for around 20 minutes. I suggest that you put the slices on a slightly crinkled sheet of aluminium foil on top of your baking sheet so bacon is not sitting in the grease. You may have to do two batches if you do not have two cooking sheets. I may also suggest to you that while you are getting all of your ingredients ready and you are slicing your potatoes. You may also have to do two batches if you do not have two cooking sheets. I would also suggest you do this while you are getting all of your ingredients ready and you are peeling and slicing your potatoes. Todd, would you stick your head in the oven and check to see if it's 400 degrees? Oh yeah, absolutely. And once again, I've had letters. Make sure there aren't any children in the oven. Wait, again? I keep repeating this because you only have to make that mistake once and your whole day of cooking is ruined. That must smell worse than burnt bread in the microwave. Do you often smell burnt toast? No. How unfortunate. Hmm. You will now be using a 13 by 9 inch casserole dish. If you are using a 2 quart casserole dish, half your ingredients. Maybe you have a smaller family or 
you're celebrating the holidays on vacation. Or alone. Oh. Or alone. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the butter, place it in like so. That is two tablespoons of butter and spread it out. How do you know it's two yeah. tablespoons? Because I, I measured it. Oh, okay. All okay. right, now spread it out evenly. Oh, let me... Let me show you how my grandma does this. This is really, it's, oh. See how it gets those pretty designs? It reminds me of brushed stainless steel. Oh, I can just see my grandma's arthritic hands doing this right now. Oh, they really are something. Ah, oh, now look at that. <laughs> That's some buttering. <laughs> That's just spot. Uh, okay. Someone did. were actually just really paying attention. No, you're doing great. No, I... That's great. You start by peeling so when you're ready you're going to start slicing your potatoes one eighth thickness with a mandolin now not to be confused with the musical instrument that's part of the lute family invented in the mid 1800s in Italy. That's amore. Totally Same name. You're just a font of knowledge, aren't you? Sometimes. <laughs> Where were we? We're using the mandolin. Now, if you have to slice these by hand and do not have a mandolin, then make sure to parboil your potatoes for four minutes and then let them cool. After you're finished with your business, with your potatoes, business. you're going to, your yeah, business, you're going to whisk together your heavy cream and flour, followed by mixing in sour cream, garlic, and pepper. Oh, this sounds so good. So, let us begin. Out of my way. Okay. Oh, do wow. We, do we need to get that close? That, yeah, is that, really that, is, that is some heavy cream. <laughs> Wait, actually, let me show you how, this is how my mom and grandma do it. No, no it's, oh, I don't know. Oh, this is oh, great. Okay. Your grandma wow. was, a, was a mess. You have to act quick with this because if not, the flour can lump. Nobody likes lumps from their flour. Am I right? Oh, I'm right. All right, move. And then after you, okay. that, that's enough, that's good. After that, you're going to add your sour cream. Oh, this is so heavy. <laughs> I'm liking it. Oh, wow. Like oh. oh, that's beautiful. Presents. Oh, this is so great. And salt. Oh, wow. Okay. Pepper. Shot, 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 everybody. With somebody. Okay. <laughs> it's like, it's really like shot glasses. It's... No, I'm thinking of another kind of shot. Try not to make stop it. Try not to make a mess. Some people think your grandmother must have been an absolute disaster. There's some there's some I'm killing lumps. it. It's important to get the lumps out, that's all. <laughs> you don't want lumps. Or put some lumps in. <laughs> it sounds painful. <laughs> you <laughs> Actually, you're doing a great job. That looks Oh. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh wow. No. Oh. Mm. I could I could drink this. I'm not going to, but I could totally drink this. <laughs> As I said, after you have finished with your I'm trying to work. That is some beautiful meat. Yeah. It's beautiful meat. I know beautiful meat when I see beautiful meat. Anyway, after you're done with your potatoes, then slice your bacon up. That looks so fun. Oh, I that in my mouth. And then... Yeah, you, you're breathing mm. in my ear. It's just... Oh, wow. <laughs> is your mouth salivating like mine is right now? This is... Oh, my gosh. Your, your mouth breathing. This is... It's, oh, wow. Oh. And then, of course, chop it like so. This is the point where we start layering our casserole dish. Did you? You can you can write your name or a loved one. I went ahead and wrote this for you as your loved one. <laughs> Just really? 
You put your name in the... It's like your name in lights. It's... Your name in butter. <laughs> well, don't we have high aspirations? All right, start layering your potatoes like dragon scales. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Do you mind moving? This yeah, one? yeah, this. Oh, this way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna help. Yeah. That would be a start. Yeah. Just on this side instead. There we go. Dragon scales. What kind of dragon? Does it really matter? Uh, probably a ridgeback. Next, you're going to spoon your sour cream sauce on to the potatoes like so. Oh, that smells so good. I don't even smell it. How oh, are you smelling it? It's, you can smell that? Mm. Oh, it smells so good. Not yet. Oh. Then so you're going to take your basting brush and you're going to spread it around. You're going to use one third of your sour cream mix. Make sure to cover all of your potatoes. Yeah, you don't want them to get too so. dried out and crispy. No, not at all. Not, not making crispy. potato chips today, are we? No, we're <laughs> not. Now, next you're gonna take one third of the cheese and spread it on this layer. It's like potato nachos. It, sure. It really is. I mean, for those of you with more, you know, exquisite taste. Now, uh, as if I didn't mention this before, you're gonna want to use block cheese and shred it and not use pre-shredded cheese. Oh. The reason for this is that shredded cheese has a component in it which keeps it from melting. Next, you're going to place your bacon, about a third of it, on add some chips. Not too many. Just if you're that. using green onions instead of chives, that's fine. That's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't now are these green on onions or chives? Those are green onions oh, because the, so the, 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 the store did not have any chives. Mm. For the next two layers, that's how that's going to go. You're going to go potatoes, cream, cheese, bacon, and then chives, and then again. And then again. Now, with all of your layers complete, place aluminum foil on top of your dish and place it in the oven for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, take the foil off and bake it for an additional 20. Then let it cool for a bit. If you have any chives or bacon left, you can use it to garnish the top. Now, after your 20 minutes without. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks so good. Oh. Of course it does. After your 20 minutes without. Oh, the smell. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. If you have a little extra, add some bacon. Mm, and so of good. course. Oh, look at that. With. Oh, do, do you mind? This That's is, actually, uh, oh, wow. Okay. Well, oh, this is so beautiful. Imagine the look on your family when you bring this to the table. Oh, you smell that? It smells like dreams come true. Oh my gosh. Someone's. Oh, wow. We did a really good job today. Look at this. Wow. And there you have it. We sure do. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> a delicious side dish for the autumnal festival festival that is smooth and creamy like the dulcet oh. tones of my voice. As I said at the beginning, if you put your mind to it, even you can cook successfully. You sure can. So what did we learn today? All kinds of stuff. I learned that... We learned that subversion and festival sabotage can be delicious and pleasant. We learned that there is a reason you do not mouth breathe. And lastly, we learned that Todd may not see the light of another morning. Wait, what? And lastly, lastly, remember, the kitchen is not a scary place.
Well, not unless you're in it. <laughs> you said, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm not touching you. You're touching me. I'm not touching you. Stop it. I'm not touching you. I just want to get you out of your room for a change. Have some fun. Uh, not only no, Todd, but listen to this. Once I serve my moments of servitude with Doug and he shows me how to get my magic back, I am never coming back. Wait, what? <laughs> Doug told you he would help you get your magic back? That's super silly, because Doug doesn't even know anything about magic. Doug doesn't even like magic. <laughs> so weird. Really? This concludes today's lesson, and before you move off to eat your feelings with the rest of the trifle, I would like to say- no. All right, fine. I get it. You're supposed to do that thumb thing. I'm not sure who's thumbing who, but whatever. Also, like and subscribe. I hear that subscribing will help me move out of Todd's house. Anyway, do that. And I will leave you with these words from my cousin Demos, who said, Sleeping is like being dead, only not in a coffin. I didn't say he was a philosopher. I'm getting better! No, you're not. You'll be stone dead in a moment. <laughs>